Hey friends, welcome to another unboxing and review. Checking this one out, should be kind of fun. This is the sewer camera. So if you need to get down into your pipes and see what's going on, maybe you got a, you know, a leak or something like that. Got some instructions right here. Let's just pull this out of here, shall we? This features a 512 uh, Hertz sound. A transmitter so if you need to locate like where your pipes are underground if you have a receiver you can locate where that is 50 meters of uh, cable here comes the nine inch screen let's just open this up very cool this is like a powder coated frame here uh, the cord um, goes up in here nicely we have our little attachment here for our camera it has some little wheels on the front so we can uh, just lift up this handle here. Boom, extends out so we can just pull that along on the little wheels and set it down. Um, I'm set it down like that or this way. It has nice little rubber pads there too. Handle here, little uh, lanyard here to hold this from moving around. Let's check out the screen here. So this little guy just pops open. This camera also features an IPX8 rating, which means it's 100% it's waterproof. It's the highest rating there is. This little screen pops up. We have this little, uh, like kind of a rubber device here. You just set that right there on the screen and that keeps that from slamming uh, close on the stings. We have a power cord if necessary. You don't need to, because this has a little power switch right here. We can turn that on and this charges up and so you don't if you're not close to a power source you can just uh, plug that in right there our screen comes on let's check this out real quick here's our camera so we just take off the ends here uh, that just unscrews off of there maybe there we go on there pretty tight okay and we just put this right on there once we start screwing this on should bring up oh yeah that is cool let's check out the screen here if we can see it switch this around that way right there wherever we're looking at I can think I can look at myself there maybe can we see me I'm looking at the screen. I'd have to turn it around to look at my, see my hand on there. Has our little LED lights on there. A nine inch screen, that's uh, like 1080p. Very good, um, very good quality there. This is super convenient, it's very small, lightweight. Like I said, we can plug it in if necessary and keep that battery charged up. We have um, an SD card slot right here. That can be uh, up to hold to, up to 256. It has our time uh, stamp on there too. A bunch of nice features here. Very cool. Um, waterproof uh, little, I believe this is a waterproof uh, case as well. And in here, this little bag, we have this little pipe um, guy with some tools. So this can go over that and it'll it has some little wheels that goes on the outside and it'll kind of guide it down into the pipe if this is getting stuck or whatever. This is like very flexible here on the end so it should just be able to go down in the pipe whichever way you want it. And you can adjust the brightness of the LEDs as well from your screen, I believe. So uh, very cool. We're gonna actually put this down into our, uh, our pipe outside and check it out. This is very handy whether you're using it in a chimney or an electrical piping, maybe down to the sewer. Um, previously, I had to find out like where my uh, where my uh, sewer was underground, so I would know like where to dig to find, so I can make like a, a what are those called? Not a cutout. Anyways, where you tap into your sewer, so just in case if it, uh, it has to flush it out or whatever, you can just access it through that. I did a video on it, I should know that. Anyways, we're gonna be uh, firing this down in there and uh, checking out our pipes, see if they're okay. Also, if you have trees and stuff like that, sometimes roots get down there and break the pipe and you'll be able to see all that with this. This, is, this camera is pretty uh, phenomenal. So let's go check it out, my friends. 
Alrighty. Well, I got my little uh, clean out here. That's the word I was looking for. So I'm going to set this up. Boom. Open that up. Take out my little thing there. Push that in there. That just keeps this from collapsing on there. And then we can just switch the little power switch right here. Just flick that to on. Let's see. I think that's the card has been inserted. We'll put that off to the side. Okay. Now, I'm going to undo this little lanyard right here. There we go. Unscrew this from the end. Oh, the dogs are happy today, aren't they? Unscrew this. Place this in there. All right. Make sure that's nice and tight on there. As tight as possible. Okay, so yeah, that adjusts the brightness of the light on the side there. Let's get a little different angle here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna hit record on this. It's recording on the SD card. And now we just feed this down into our pipe and see if we have any obstructions or anything like that. So this just goes down in there. Okay, we should be able to see what's going on down there. Looks like we got some some water with some chunkies maybe. There we go. All right, what did we just do? Looks like it's bent a little bit down. I'm not sure where we're going. I'm trying to look at my monitor now. Uh, okay, we are in, we're in the pipe. And it looks like we might got some stuff on there. Okay. Check out my screen right here. It appears to have some some gunk on there. On the camera. That's not good. So we're going down the pipe. Oh, there we go. Is that like in the way? Get out of the way. Okay, we can see kind of a little bit. Maybe if I flush some water down there real quick. Okay, so here we go. Kind of just scope everything out there, looking pretty good. And this is our pipe. Now this has, like I said, it has that, uh, ooh, there's a little bit of stuff there. Well, press on, I guess. Pipes look pretty clean though. And then we're just rolling down in there. It looks good. All right, so this has 50 meters. Uh, plenty of stuff on there. Um, I really like how, how easy this is to roll in there. I can see really well. We can adjust our light here too. Turn that, turn the light off there, turn it on. A little brighter. Battery indicator is good. Anyways, my friends, yeah, works excellent. You can definitely go all the way in there and see see what is going on with your pipe. And then when you're done, yeah, just keep feeding it in there. This is nice and stiff cord, nice and flexible. Oh, looks like we're meeting a little another little junction there. Okay, we're taking a turn. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually, like a underground world, a whole new world under there. Okay, and you could use the tracking location on there if you have a receiver and kind of find out where your thing is at and that's a way to locate like where if you have blockers or whatever where it's at. So very cool. We can just kind of keep going and uh, yeah, I'm just going to wind this back up now and excellent device my friends if you have a blockage or something in your pipe in your chimney in like i said your electrical things like that um, maybe in your drain pipe or something go down your uh, water spout 
you can get just kind of use this and check out what's going on and uh, just be a real good way to kind of uh, check that out especially if you're like a plumber or something like that this is a very handy tool you can uh, locate your blockages or maybe a cracked pipe or something and then you can solve the issue thanks for watching this review my friends i hope it's helpful have a great day and we'll see you next time all right i want to put this away just put that in there close that shut down our little screen lock that down there we go it has a little lock thing too you have to pull for a lock okay so all right i was gonna wind this up um so uh, depending on how you want to if you want to use gloves or whatever probably a good idea um, i just grabbed some wipes and i just kind of put it around there when it got a little stuff on there so this was a decent way you can just use gloves if you want and hose it out this has an ipx8 rating i believe so it's pretty much submersible the frames like powder coated the case and everything but i prefer just to use some wipes in there this is super easy to just push it back right into the uh the little holder there for um excellent storage this just pushes it in there I don't know how many feet I had out, maybe maybe 100 feet. It was quite a bit I pushed down in there. As you can see, the camera was quite nice. It's a full color. Um, and if you did want to use a little uh, transceiver thing or transmitter thing, if you had a receiver, you could find out where the tip of that is to find out where your, where your pipe is and everything like that. So that's uh, super handy. This is, yeah, just a quality product, worked excellent. I didn't get a chance to use the little um, trolley to, that attaches on there, but um, I'm, probably because I had a hard 90 on on the on the cut the on the pipe right there instead of a you want kind of like a soft uh, you know 45 or whatever. So other than that, uh, the thing worked pretty well as far as just the performance. I was pretty impressed with the picture quality also. So just kind of cleaned everything off of the wipes and I was good to go. So thanks so much for watching this review, my friends. I hope it's helpful. You guys have a wonderful day out there and I'll see you all next time.